Hello everyone! Thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to loop a video in Canva, so let's get started. However, just a heads up, you can loop a video in presentations only. Doing so will loop your video for as long as you stay on a specific slide where your video is. As for video formats, you can loop a certain video by duplicating the same page where your video is as many times as you like. Um, it might sound confusing, but no worries, we're going to explain it to you um, in, in more detail later on. So first, we're going to talk about how to loop videos in presentations in Canva. Alright, so we're going to need to upload a video file to Canva, so go to Uploads and then upload your file by clicking on Upload Files. Select the video you want to upload and then click on open and they'll show up under the videos category. Once it's uploaded, you can click on it and resize it according to how big you'd like it to be in relation to your canvas. Anyway, we're going to click on our video and go to the playback button on the, on the toolbar above. Right over here, you'll be able to see the option called Loop Forever in Presentation. So if you're going to click on that or toggle this button on, then that means once you start presenting, let's add another page for example. Let's go to Design, let's say Presentation. Oops, okay. Uh, let's have this one for example. So if we play it, if we click on present, just full screen, our video will loop for as long as we stay on the same slide or on the same page. So if we go to the next slide, we can do that. So if we stay on this slide where our video is, since we turned the um, option for loop in presentation, then it's going to continuously loop until we go to the next slide. By the way, apart from the loop option, you can actually find options here such as video speed. So you can toggle this slider over here as well or input specific values here, depending on how slow or how fast you like your video to be. And you also have autoplay and presentation. If you tick this or if you toggle this on, it means your video will automatically play once you're in the page where your video's located. But if you turn this off, if you present, then you're going to have to manually play your video. Just like that. Okay, so let's go to the next um, thing that we have to talk about, and that is to loop a video in video format. So we're just going to work on this same video. We're just going to be staying on the same page for now. But what we can do is to pull up our timeline over here by clicking this Show Pages button. Doing that will allow us to see our pages right here at the bottom, but I'd like to call this my timeline. And so we can see it right over here now. We're going to click on the page where our video is located. So in this case, that's page number one. And we're going to hover over it so that we can see this three dot button. So we're going to click on that. And from the drop down, we're going to select duplicate page. Or you can also press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to make things quicker. So just keep on duplicating the same video over and over again. Depending on how long you'd like your video to loop. So let's try to play our video now and see if it worked. Oh, I'm just going to click on duration so that we can see our timeline from here and that we can also see this play button. So if we click on it, we're just going to go back. So if we click on it, you'll see that our video 
keeps on looping. I just decided to use a short video for today's example so that we can quickly see the results. And there you have it. That's how you loop a video in Canva, whether it's for a presentation or for creating a video. By the way, if you want to learn more about video editing in Canva, then keep on watching because we'll be sharing more tips. So we're just going to be deleting this. And if you'd like to add a new page to your video design, then click on this add page button right over here and a new page will be added. You can place any images or videos you want to place onto your new page. So let's try a photo in this case. So let's say breakfast, for example, and I'm going to go to photos because unfortunately I don't have a lot of, a lot of photos in my upload section. So in order to fit our photo onto our canvas, I'm just going to right click and click on set image as background. And there we go. If you would like to adjust the duration of your um, slide or video clip or page, then click on this duration button, the one with the clock icon on it. And you can drag this slider over here or input specific values over here, depending on how long you'd like your video to play. In my case, just three would be okay. And if you have a lot of pages and would like to apply the same duration all throughout your other pages, then you can click on or toggle on this apply to all pages and the same duration will be applied to your other pages. And since you already have two pages now, then let's talk about the transitions button or the transitions. So you can hover in between your pages over here. And when you do that, these two buttons will appear. So the first button is just basically for you to add another page in between your two pages. And the, um, the next button is the transitions button. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see some transitions over here on the side panel that you can choose from. So you've got several options to choose from. Select any transition that you want to be applied onto your design. In my case, I'm just going to have the match and move um, animation or transition and there. Oh, by the way, you can actually also adjust the uh, duration in seconds of your transition. So all you have to do is just um, adjust the slider or input specific values over here. Now you can also add elements to your videos. So you can add texts if you want to. You can add a text box and format it, format it manually. You can input your desired text here, change your font here on the font bar above. You can change your size by adjusting your text like that or by inputting specific values over here. Change your text color over here turn it to bold, italicize it, change its alignment. So you've got to the right, I mean, to the left, full block style to the right or to the middle. You also have the option to turn it into a list, a bulleted list or a numbered list. You can adjust the uh, letter spacing or the line spacing. Add effects to your text if you want to. You also have the option to animate your text elements. So just like the transitions earlier, you have several options here to choose from. And position in case you'd like to send it behind another element or in front of another element. And this one's for transparency. You've got the uh, three dot button here. So here you can strike it through just like that. You can turn it all into uppercase 
you can copy its style and apply it to another text and lock it so that you don't accidentally move it around. You can also add elements to your videos. You can add graphic elements, for example, or photo elements. In case you want to add animated graphic elements, then you can just input whatever you want to search for here and then go to the filter button and scroll down. Tick the checkbox for animated and you'll find animated elements that you might want to use. Just like that. Now let's talk about adding music. So you actually have two options to choose from. You can either add your own music or add music from Canva or from Canva's music library. However, if you want to use Canva's music library, then you're going to have to be careful when it comes to the copyright. To find music on Canva's element section, you can just go to the elements button, type in here the kind of music you want to add to your um, video, happy for example, and go to audio over here. And from here, you can choose from different background music that they have available. You'll know that a certain music hat is Canva Pro because they have this Pro watermark. So once you select a song, just add it to your design by dragging it to your design page. And you can see that a track will be added over here. So if you want to make minor changes to your track, then just click on your audio track and click on this three dot button. Uh, from here, you have several tools that you might find useful. So you've got adjust in case you want to adjust the placement or the, um, the part that you'd like to be included onto your design or video. And then next you have audio effects for now. They only have fade in and fade out. You've got beat sync in case you'd like your elements and transitions to be timed according to the beat of your music. But this is unfortunately only available for those with Canva subscriptions. Um, next, you've got volume and then split audio, which is also S on your keyboard, duplicate track, which is control plus D on your keyboard and delete track, which is delete on your keyboard. And once you're happy with your video, then you can finally download it. So go to the share button over here, click on download. And for the file type, make sure to select MP4 as your file type. And if you're a Canva Pro user, adjust all of these download settings over here according to your preferences. And once everything's all set and ready to go, then you can click on download. And that's it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video and you have a great day.